Okay, so we're, today we're gonna test out the water resistance on these new Tesla Smart probes. The only uh, modification I did was I stuck some uh, flowable silicone in there where the wire goes inside. It seemed like it was sealed with like a, a gasket, but just to be sure, I just put a little, you know, flowable silicone in there. It's basically like a runny silicone, so it goes in there nice and seals everything. And on the battery door, it seems to be pretty well sealed. You know, there's a metal clip there. It does have like a like a foam gasket, rubber gasket on the battery door. So that seems to be pretty well sealed. We're gonna put that back on there. Clip that on. And I got these turned on already. I got all the probes connected. I'm in target super heat mode. Turns out you don't really need that uh, uh, wet bulb uh, probe. You can just kind of enter your calculations manually. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let me go back to the refrigeration standard setup. Okay, I gotta switch uh, the settings here. It doesn't really matter right now, but I'll put it back to the, you know, US, you know, PSI. Okay, there we go. You know, this unit's been off for a while. I don't know if you can see that, the glare. But, you know, all the probes are connected. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna spray the probes down. I got a little uh, tank sprayer here. And it's just gonna act like a rain shower. Let's say you got caught in the rain shower, which, you know, happens all the time. So let's just see if these probes survive. I hope, I hope so, guys. I just made sure that the battery door and the pressure probes were tight. Yeah, there's no gasket on those, uh, no O-ring or anything, but as long as they're tied, I think it's okay. So let me just say a little prayer and hope these survive. Okay, here we go. I'm showering that one pretty good. Go with that other uh, probe, pipe clamp, low side pipe clamp. I should have turned it around so I could see the, the light on. Okay, I can still see it flashing green. It's good. We get this uh, high side one. Yeah, I know this isn't the water hose, but and I'm not I'm not crazy, so I'm not gonna you know put a water jet on it. You know that's not what they're meant for. But this is like you know the reality of the job. You know you're gonna might get caught in the rain. You know, especially you guys in uh, the Carolinas there. Not so much for for us guys in you know uh, Southern California, but but it can happen. But it's showing, I'm seeing, it looks like all the green lights are on. You know, I'm trying to give this a good shower. So far it's looking good. It's got a little windy. And I'll just go up on the side menu. Yeah, all the probes are uh, showing up there. All four probes. So far so good. Double check. Green lights are on. Yeah. I can't see this one, but I'm gonna. I should have turned that one around. Okay, but they're all on. I'm just gonna go and a little more. You know, this is basically what it would happen. Same uh, scenario if it got caught in the rain. Buttons seem really good, well sealed. Obviously, you know, you wouldn't want to get any water on the pressure probe sensor inside there, and but as long as it's connected to the unit, it should be fine. I would just wipe it down before you disconnect that, the pressure probes. Giving it a real good shower, guys. Make sure this is uh, 
camera's focused, but you, you still see. So guys, does this survive the water test? I think so. Okay. Yeah, sorry guys for the glare. But uh, yeah, little probes right there, still showing up. So let's give you a close up here. Yeah, they're all wet. I doused it pretty good, as you saw. And like I said, you know the lights are hard to see in the daylight. Just gotta put your hand over it. But yeah, I can see it. They're all, they all appear to be on still. Definitely handled the water test. So you guys, you really don't need to worry if you get this caught in the rainstorm. Like I said, before you take, you know, your pressure probes off, I would, uh, you know, wait for the rain to stop or whatever. Wipe this off with the rag. You know, you don't want any water in the in the pressure probe sensor right there. But the pipe clamps, you don't really need to worry about that. Did I really need to seal that up with silicone? Probably not, but you know, I just wanted to be safe. It wasn't that hard for me to do. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. Well, Cece, you were right. Good boy. Good boy.